Hey everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to our channel, Homeschool Honey. Today we're going to be talking about spelling. Whether you have dyslexic kids or kids that are struggling with spelling, trying to find creative, hands-on ways to help them learn their words can really be a challenge. But I have found a few games that I use Scrabble tiles for to help them with their spelling. The first thing we do with our new words is have them write them on index cards and then put dots for each letter underneath. This way they can practice their words and start realizing how many letters each word has in it. Next they flip over the cards and then they just put the dots without the other letters. The dots give them a visual so that when we're practicing the words they'll realize if they're missing a letter and hopefully that'll stick when they need to write that word in their writing. So each of my children has their own box with the letters for the words of the week and they can use these to practice spelling out their words. But I wanted to share with you a game that we've been playing. Now I got this huge bag of Scrabble tiles at a thrift store. You can even order them from Amazon. They're about 11 bucks for 500 tiles. So the ultimate goal of the game is to get all of your spelling cards covered with the tiles, but you're not just going to be using your own letter tiles. Let's dive into the game and I will explain how to play. So the first thing you're going to do is each player is going to dump all of their letter tiles into the center of the table. It won't matter because we all have the same words and we're going to all end up with our letters back at the end. Next, we're going to flip all of our tiles upside down so you cannot see the letters. So then we'll take a small amount of tiles, say about 10, to put off to the side and we'll leave the big bank of tiles in the center. Next, we each flip over two of our words from our deck. These are going to be the two words that we're working on at any given time. So as soon as we filled up one word, we're going to slide it to the side and we'll flip over another word to be working on. From your small bank of tiles, you're going to flip one over at a time and see if it fits for one of your words. If it does, you keep it. Then you'll select another tile, flip it over. If it doesn't fit, you'll flip it upside down and slide it over to the player to your right. So once gameplay starts, everybody is going to be flipping tiles and sliding tiles all at the same time, trying to fill up their cards as quickly as possible. If you've got a kid that struggles with competition or with being timed, then definitely don't make it a race. You know, just take your time and enjoy building the words and sliding and looking for the letters. So gameplay will continue like this until you have filled up one of your words. Once you have completed one of your words, you will you don't have to stop the game, but you can. Then you'll take your word card that you've completed, slide it to the side, don't put those tiles back in. Slide it to the side and then flip over a new word so that you're always working on two words at a time. Gameplay will continue in this way until you run out of tiles to the side. Now if you get to a point where you run out of the letter tiles that your partner has been sliding over to you, then you reach up and you pull from the center pool of tiles so that you've got enough tiles to pull from off to the side. And then you just keep playing. Once you come to the end of the game, you might have a spare letter hanging out or you might be missing a letter. So if this happens, that means the, p the players that have already finished need to double check their words to make sure they didn't forget a letter. And we did. One of my children forgot another P in the word people and had to go dig through and find to make sure that they had all the letters. Another thing one of my kids does is sometimes they'll grab the I and use it as an L. That was another error that we found in the game. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll have more hands-on spelling games coming soon. Talk to you later. Bye.